Okay, so today I decided to tackle a task that I have been waiting to do for the longest. I want to put together an Etsy shop and I want to be able to sell cards in it and other things. Um, stationery related, that kind of thing. So when you start up an Etsy shop, it automatically, as you're setting it up, it like the first thing that you have to do is like, well, obviously you put the name of the shop, um, you put like a few things, but the main thing that was my setback was like having your first item that's in stock and like listing it and all of that stuff and measurements and stuff. Cause like, I don't be thinking about that. I just wanted, honestly, at first, I just wanted to get rid of some paintings that I did. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that right now. What I'm going to start with is cards because that's easy. Usually, a card that I make is 5 by 7 If it's not that size, it's approximately um, 9.5 by 11 or 8.5 by 11. That's it. Um, so, sometimes it's like three and a half by seven so i usually know the measurements of my cards so that's gonna make this easier for me um with that in mind i just made a couple of cards and two of the designs um are gonna not necessarily gonna be exactly exactly on the shop but their inspiration so the first one is this one i have made multiple variations of this card before and I just like it. It comes out nice every time. It's different because it has to cut out edges. Um, but what I want to do is I want to put it in Cricut, like make a design for it in Cricut design space so that I can have a standard design that will cut out perfectly each time instead of every time I have to hand cut it and you know, it's not exact, it's not perfect that way. And then the other card, this one is a picture card. Um, this isn't exactly the way that I made it the first time. I think that I really, really, really like the way that I made it like the first time. So I'ma look back. But the cool thing about this is that it has multiple pages, it has a collage, so there are options for people. Um, I'll probably also do like a collage card what else so I mean those are kind of what I'm starting off with like regular 5 by 7 cards that I know the measurement of that I can replicate easily right so that's one but I'm also thinking that like I want to do more obviously so after I set these cards up I'm probably either going to look into bookmarks or stickers or notebooks and paintings yeah okay I'm getting way too far ahead of myself so what I'm gonna start by doing is first to making the designs that I need so I have my laptop right here you can't see it I'm not even gonna bother switching the view because most of the time when I'm recording the laptop it just looks weird and plus I have a headache so I don't want to do too much so I'm gonna open up Cricut Design Space. What time is it? Oh, by the way, let me see if I can reach my Cricut real quick. I don't use it all the time, so it's not dusty right now. Ew. Um, we're gonna pretend like that did not just happen. Like I did not just like move the entire table out of place. Okay, so this is my Cricut. It's a Cricut Explore Air 2. So it's not the full sized maker, which I would love, but I don't have space for it. Um, my mom got this for me, I think for last year Christmas. And at first I wasn't using it and she was getting mad. She was like, I'm about to return it. But I ended up using it and it's really, really good. It's just that because I don't have the space to keep it set up all the time i don't use it all the time because then each time i have to run the cords and plug it in and find a spot for it and clear a space so it 
so it can move and do what it needs to do. And that reminds me, another thing that I want to put on is business cards because I've designed some business cards and, but they're a little bit more challenging for me to do. I, I, I have to think about that one. Okay, so apparently Cricut Design Space updated. It has app improvement, guided print and cut calibration. I have a headache. So to begin, I need to work on this design. At, at this point, I should probably let you see what I'm doing though. Because otherwise it doesn't make sense that I record. All right, so I got a little bit distracted and did a little bit of other stuff, but I'm back. Um, I found the template that I needed. It's this blue. Um, it started out as like a blue card. Actually, wasn't it blue and yellow? Okay, I looked so confused, so I had to check and it was blue and yellow. It doesn't matter because it's here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, let's see, I'm gonna copy all of this and then I'm gonna put it into a different file on my personal Canva. If it would, you know, transfer over, that would be nice. It does not look like it wants to. And I don't understand the reason why. Allow it. Yes, yes, allow. What? Okay, it's not transferring over. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't want to sit here and like start the whole design over again. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> No, 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 I'm not trying to break this phone any more than I already have. Okay. Right, so I'm going to make this square 5 by 7. Unlock that erase. Right here. Lord, unlock that ratio. Next, I'm going to get some flowers. Okay, so I just had to like stop right there because I don't even remember all the steps. I don't remember how I went about this. I don't know why I'm searching up flowers because in the end, I made a design in Canva that I transferred to Adobe Express that I brought into Cricut. So I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm basically just going to skip through this part. All right, all right, all right. Welcome to Cricut explore your two to the stage okay um ow okay so let's see as i mentioned i have not used this in a little minute so oh i need to open that and let me move this out of the way because i need all the space i can do all right so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to try to print out the card. I should have set this so that it's like a print and cut, but since I did not, I'm going to try and finesse it and hope that it works. Spoiler alert, it does not work at all. And if it does not, then I am going to be very sad. Okay, print. I've retrieved the printout and the mats for the Cricut. For a moment there, I really thought that I lost them. But anyway, here is the printout. Simple, nice, cute. And here is a light grip mat. It's not the cleanest. Once again, I've not used this in a minute. It caught the, I think I lost the plastic for this or I thought it was something else. But nonetheless, what is in this? Oh, 
Okay. Alright. Okay, uh. Huh. Okay, that's that's really strange with the computer. Let me just line this up. Okay, um now I need to open up cricket. Make it why would I jeez. Something is so wrong with me. First of all, I put it on the mat upside down and in the wrong direction. So let's try this again. So they think this is a light mat. Set this to cardstock. I have no idea what the difference between cardstock and light cardstock are, so continue. I've already printed. Mm -hmm. The fine point blade, it is loaded already. Perfect, I hope it is and not the precision. Okay. So that did not work at all. First of all, it's over here talking that I cannot read the sensors. Ciao, no sensors were made. It was not a print then cut, it was just a cut. So why is it searching for sensors? Secondly, I don't even think that the measurement is going to match up properly. So I don't even know what to do. I think I'm going to have to like plug the entire card into Cricut. Okay, so first of all, there was no clamp inside of the Cricut, so it didn't cut anything. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just um, make all of the designs and I'll just plug them into the Cricut and do a print and cut with it every time because I can't, I can't keep on bothering my head about it. So that's what I'm working on right now. Okay, so I'm back with a quick update. It's about eight o'clock, so I've been working on this all day but um at this point i have two templates that should be e easily yeah that's the word easily transferred into cricut design space um and i'll just have to save them as pngs put put it over and it should be able to cut them out um <clears throat> so basically what i would do in the future is just adjust the text in canva and then save it as a png and move it into cricut and let it cut um i only have two color variations so like colorful and the blue because i'm not going to be sitting here all day working on that so now that i have that um i'm going to work on the other card I can barely see that. Okay, I'm gonna work on the other card design that I wanted to work on. I just said the same thing over and over. Okay, so it's gonna be a floral birthday card. I think that's the one that I'm going for. Um, or should I do like a collage? No, mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna do the single picture floral birthday card. Um, that design looks pretty to me, so <laughs> um, I'm going to work on that. There's no reason for me to need to cut anything out unless I overcomplicate it. Hmm. I mean, like, cause I. Could. I mean that's the update that's it I think so finally at around like 11 o'clock I finally figured it out I was able to plug the design into Cricut Design Space 
and look at that cut i mean at this point i was literally like screaming it's working but like i couldn't keep the audio in because there was too much going on so i'm just making this voiceover but i was so excited it came out it came out pretty good and after decorating this was the final product <laughs> I spent a whole entire day on this and I have one item up. Why why is it so hard? Anyway, I feel accomplished. It's okay. I didn't do everything that I wanted to do today. I thought I would have time being that I got it mad early, but it's okay. Anyway, um, this is officially it for this video. Thank you for your time. It is the middle of the night. I'm tired. So that's it, bye.